At Bendigo, Victoria, in ideal quiet surroundings, the Army Survey Regiment produces maps from field work down to the final printing stage. National servicemen are now part of the Survey Regiment, having completed their basic training. Among these, sapper Brian Pendlebury, formerly a civil assistant surveyor of Hayfield, Victoria, is learning how to operate the tellurometer, an electronic distance measuring device which has cut down the work of surveyors considerably. Warrant Officer Len Davies of Mildura, an experienced Army surveyor, instructs Sapper Pendlebury on the tellurometer, while Sapper Ron Wally of Heathpool, Adelaide, a former assistant surveyor in oil search, uses a psychrometer to determine humidity in relation to operation of the tellurometer. Another national serviceman, Sapper David Cheeseman of Hawthorne, South Australia, a draftsman, learns how to use the theodolite. From the fieldwork data, calculations are made by the topographical squadron at Bendigo using an automatic calculator. Another lesson for Sapper Cheeseman. National servicemen at Bendigo are also learning other features in map making, including the use of the aero triangulation machine, which measures distances from air photographs. From here, the plotting machine is brought into use. Then sapper Ron Wally has his turn at tracing machine plots onto the embryo map. In the cartographic section, sapper John Lang of Mount Claremont, Western Australia, a former cartographic student and now national serviceman, gets more practical instruction in scribing from Sergeant Tony Ellis. Machine scribing is done with the coordinatograph where Corporal Graham Hill takes the opportunity to instruct national servicemen. The photo setter produces print on film for positioning on maps and is of distinct interest to sapper Peter Raymond of Newmarket, Queensland, a former draftsman, also doing his two years training with the survey. Neat work is essential in the cartographic section and Sapper Raymond finds ready assistance from Rack Private Marlene Penglazy when he strikes trouble. The job sheet is getting very close to a map as Sergeant Bob Oldbrook of Bendigo places it in the copy holder of the giant Klimsch camera. This camera has lenses ranging up to 70 inch and is a far cry from the small camera used by sapper Albert Falzon of the entrance Sydney when he was a professional photographer. Sapper Falzon and Sapper Ian Clark, another national serviceman from Sydney and formerly a life machinist, watch the next step in map making as Corporal Evan Geary of Bendigo works on the pre-sensitizing machine for plate making. Soon the plate will be ready for printing, and in the printing room, Sapper Clark and another national serviceman, Sapper George Austin of Bendigo, a former letterpress machinist, lock the plate into place for printing. Printing maps at Bendigo seems an endless task. Today, the Army's map depot in Melbourne holds more than 20 million copies of 10,000 maps of Australia and other parts of the world.